Juliana from Aldrake and I'm from Con River, Newfoundland. Mm-hmm. It's a Miyabugik Reserve. I'm in grade 11. I'm 16 years old and I go to Sananaway or St. Anne's High School. My name is Cassidy Lambert. I am a grade 11 student here at St. Anne's High School. I am a jingle dress dancer and I recently just got one of my friends to join me so she was out there today. Um, other than that, I help out sometimes with our Mi'kmaq language teacher. I help with the little ones when they have questions sometimes. Uh, I do uh, perform a lot of our traditional pieces, um, kind of globally, I guess you can say. Um, I've performed uh, multiple pieces at the Kiwanis, different festivals, and all those kind of things. My name is Braden Kennedy. I'm 13, no, 14 years old, and I'm in grade 8. At St. Anne's School in Con River. I'm happy to be here. I'm Emma McDonald. I'm a grade nine student from St. Anne's High School in Con River. All right, and you? My name is Carrie Keeping. I'm also in grade nine. Uh, we're both going to St. Anne's Way in Con River. My name is Mark Jador, and I'm from grade eight, and I go to St. Anne's School in Con River. My name is Kay Delaney, and I'm 12 years old. Mm-hmm. I go, I'm in grade 7, and I am in Con River. Excellent. I am 12 years old, I'm in grade 7, and I go to St. Anne's School in Con River. Uh, we're from Con River. We're a St. Anne's School, and our name, my name is Damien. My name is Chad. I'm my name is... I'm 12, and I'm in grade 7. I'm 12, and I'm in grade 7. I'm Chase, I'm 12, and I'm in grade 7. From a young age, I started here. So mm-hmm. as, a, as like a young student, you first learn about the big drum, the hand drums, the difference, like the rules about them, because there are like certain things that you can and can't do around drums, um, about the traditional regalias and the pronunciation of different words for the songs. So when you're little, they put you in a Mi'kmaq language class. You're taught the language as well as through music and just reading and writing and all those different things. And then as I got older, my father had joined the men's drum group. So I would participate with them. I would go to their practices sometimes and kind of just sing along with them, learn different songs, kind of have fun. And my mother is also part of a women's drum group, so I perform with them sometimes and I've traveled with them a bit I've practiced with them we've kind of combined both groups a few times so I have a wide variety of people that I can learn from the women's drum group is actually all like sisters and cousins kind of thing so they're all like my mom has like four three other sisters uh, so two of them are in the drum group and then their cousins and all of them are there I like the uh, art program really I really like the art program that's in here Mm. Can you tell me a bit about it? Well, it's like your, it's like most art programs, and sometimes they do a little bit of indigenous things, and and it's really fun. I mm. really do like it. Mm. Mm. So what uh, uh, what kind of indigenous? What what would be uh, an we example? You know, we do paint medicine wheels, and we uh, we do some. Some arts are cra- like some crafts, like uh, what's it called? Dream catchers mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, do you are you still taking language classes, or have you aged out of the language classes? I like like Miguel language. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, we never aged out yet. We're in our last year, I think. Okay. In grade eight. Yeah, I think so. And uh, what are your thoughts on that course? Pretty good. We we know f- some of our language like like hi, hello, and all that. There's not really many classes with an indigenous focus. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do Newfoundland studies, and we try to base it on how 
indigenous people grew up in Newfoundland, but those books are not based on that. We're like just five pages of that big book. So it's, it's hard to focus a class on, you know, just indigenous. A lot of our music, I think, is based on, you know, indigenous culture and just learning about who we are. But nothing, nothing major. You have a language class, make well until you get to grade nine, mm -hmm. I think, and you stop learning the language, which I don't agree with personally. Mm -hmm. That's that's terrible. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, you know, there there mm -hmm. should totally be more. It's like in our art classes, we have done like a decent decent amount of like traditional work. Like paint, like painting, traditional imagery, you know, mm -hmm. stuff along like that line. Mm -hmm. And our Mi'kmaq classes, we learn the Mi'kmaq language, which I feel is important for maintaining the culture. For me, I don't think we should be educated. We should already know that, but for me, that we're being educated on it again, I think it's really good mm -hmm. and bring our culture back. When I perform and I put on the jingle dress that I have, I feel more confident in myself. So mm -hmm. I'm, I've traveled to Terranova and we've done small presentations for like National, National Aboriginal Day. Mm -hmm. And I've spoken to many more people than I would have if I was out of Fricalia. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I tend to be a very shy person. I can't be mm -hmm. too vocal. But mm -hmm. in regalia and the jingle dress, especially where it's very loud, you draw a lot of attention, so it's hard to not have people approach you about it. So I've learned with being in a regalia and performing to kind of come out of my shell a bit more and be able to talk a bit more. That confidence comes with being able to talk about my culture, being proud of who I am, and being able to show people that we're not just kind of like strict to these things, we're not performers, we're really like, we just want to teach you about it. And like, we don't want to be like forcing it in your face, but we want to be like, this is us, take it as you want kind of thing. Yeah. And I tend to be the nicest I can be. I've had people <laughs> who have asked me some kind of off questions about it and I've answered them the best I could. Um, but I tend to be a lot more confident, I guess. Well, how do we know like where we're from and who we are without learning that from other people? language, the food we ate, all the things that we done. Our entire culture is based around that. But we were actually like lost for actual language because we have that Nova Scotia Mi'kmaq, but we don't have the actual language spoken by the Con River Mi'kmaq. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all died out now. And we should be taught to embrace our past and 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 grow from it and not hold it as a grudge. We should, we should know, especially for like the new generation. I find a lot of the kids, like they don't really care about who they are anymore. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, I was just talking to the great knowledge about body image and stuff from one of the young boys. He said, I want to learn Mi'kmaq. He said, I want to learn French. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, they're not, they're not raised and, and grown up enough with, with their culture to, mm -hmm. to love it. Nobody talks about culture here. We don't sit up and talk about you know, smudging or anything, like everybody's like, why, why do you want to do that? Like, I, I smudge every day, and then mm -hmm. if, like, one of my friends know, they're like, that's weird, why do you do that every day? And it's like, it's my culture, and I learned to love it. Yeah. Plus, yeah. smudging is scientifically proven to cleanse your body. It'd be good to have, like, one specific, specific day in a week to have, to learn that language. So, like a culture day, Anything? you know, remember in grade three when we had writing Wednesdays, mm. like we could have like Maybe make them like on Mondays or something. Uh, all day just talk about culture, you know, like a whole day no. dedicated to culture. No. I think that yeah. a good idea would be like when the weather gets warmer, mm -hmm. we should take a day to go out over there to the field and just do like a lot of crafts-ish mm -hmm. and with to do with our culture and stuff. Making a boat. Yeah. yeah. Like a canoe. Yeah. Maybe making a drum. Say if like we had like social studies class, our teacher could take us outside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and see if she knows anything or get somebody come in. My grandfather, mm -hmm. uh, Damien Belmont, he used to make snowshoes. <gasps> oh. 
And now, like, he's in this museum in St. John's called The Rooms. Mm -hmm. And when you go up to the fourth floor, you'll see some of his traditional snow shoes. Well, for our cultures, a lot of our traditions are based outside, so I wish we get more traditions outside, like making medicines outside, getting the medicines from plants, we, from the plants. And learning more traditional, tradi making more traditional stuff, like making canoe, um, sneers and all that, like all kinds of traditional stuff. They used to do a thing where they take them up the river and learn stuff like trapping and building a lean-to and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do that. I'm not sure if they still do it or not. Today we only learn a little bit of the language and we don't really do nothing that our people used to do back in the day. So it would be nice to learn some of the things that they did mm -hmm. and see if we can like get back into doing our thing. Mm -hmm. well, we can keep the language like going up and get more advanced because we do the same things we did as we were like just in pre-K. When we get to grade 10, we just, we only have like a little bit of make up with our homeroom teacher because after grade 10, they just almost drop make up altogether. Grade, grade 9 is our last year for the make up language. In grade 10, there's a make up studies course, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there's no language included with that. Social studies books are often like based around, um, like the Nova Scotia make and then there's the Labrador Inuit and the Inu. Mm -hmm. But there's none, like, us specifically in any of it. One thing I think we should have in our school, though, is some of, like, designs or something, like, little tiny like, native designs going across the hallways, because it's mm -hmm. hard to keep any posters in that up, because they keep falling down. When so it would be nice in. to have, like, paintings or something by each student, like, on a brick mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Like, some native drawings and that. Mm -hmm. Like, when you walk in, nothing screams, hey, we're a native school. I think it would be nice to have, like... Make them a program going here like certain days. They'll have like a program where you can just go and like learn because we already said that like the powwow you go and learn about stuff. But I think it would be nice to have like a little session thing and have some people who can go there and learn like the Mi'kmaq language and or like learn a bit of it and then have some gatherings or something. Learn how to do a sweat lodge and learn how to do smudging and all that. Like a certain day, there's you can go and learn some of these things more indigenous stuff in some of our classes like we do more indigenous stuff than what we don't do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's nothing sp specific that i'd like to see it's kind of just like i'd rather see more mi'kmaq in every other class besides just that one class that we have mm -hmm. math mm -hmm. no that's oh. impossible help us learn more about it because like over the years we lost our culture and we're not really getting it back which it would be cool if every time we went to make them all language class we'd only have to speak make them all and that's it mm -hmm. not allowed to speak english that'd be cool because mm -hmm. in other schools they do that with french our Mi'kmaq language could be carried throughout high school it kind of stops at grade nine and a bit of grade 10 with Mi'kmaq studies but it's not really we're starting we lose the language after that point so I used to be very, like, I was very confident in the way I could teach to speak and read and stuff like that. But I've kind of lost that bit of confidence a bit because we don't mm -hmm. carry out the language speaking throughout high school. Um, so I would like for that to carry through up to grade 12, like when you graduate kind of thing. Um, and I would like for the school to be, like, more inclusive, like for young ones as well, because a lot of little ones are kind of, put away from performances. Like I, we had uh, some grade six students come up today with, for dancing, but I'd like to have like lessons for little ones throughout the week mm -hmm. to teach them about the traditional ways of drumming and traditional medicines and in, in a fun way so that, you know, they don't get bored, but I would like mm -hmm. for that to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for Mi'kmaq studies, our teacher got us to make birch bark baskets and so we had mm -hmm. to collect uh, spruce roots and get large pieces of birch bark or witch hazel and we had to put them together and put the roots together to make the basket and kind of weave it all together which was really fun like I, I really enjoyed that and we we got to make a lean-to last year which was really fun and I'd like to see us do a lot more of that 
and not just in Megamaw studies through like throughout the year and start little ones with simple projects mm -hmm. like just braiding or just <laughs> something <Yeah>. simple <laughs> there's there's so many things that we could do like I spent a lot of time in the friendship center in uh St. John's oh uh, yeah. And I love I love that place. I love the friendship center. It's so good. Like we don't we don't do a lot of cultural things as a, as a community. Like we have a powwow, but that's you know. Mm -hmm. I I would just personally I would have like culture camps and there's culture camps that was just on the go there in March that they could have signed people up for you know and culture camps were where uh, just outside of St John's right, uh, right. it was called yeah for like. Oh. You so we're outside do, of St. John's. Yeah, yeah, so you can yeah. either do like a language camp or yes. like just learn about culture and stuff and yeah. all that. But we, we do have a lack mm -hmm. of push on our culture. Yeah. We do try. I'm not saying we don't yeah. try, but there there could definitely be more, especially in the school. Yes. Okay. Um the language should be learned all the way through. I mean, if they're gonna teach us a second language at least teach us all the way through. Mm -hmm. When you do French, you learn how to speak French. I I can't fully speak my language, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to, but I have no one to teach me all the way growing up. And there's the class with Miss Angela, like, in the weekdays, but that's not well known. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know that until she told me, like, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. I think more like just talking about the culture, even just smudging circles or just mm -hmm. sitting up making dream catchers, learning how to do like all the old stuff, like having groups and stuff would just be a good thing to have. Why not have an after school program or anything like that to do with the culture? Yeah. All of us should be able to pick up a stick and start putting sinew through it and making a dream catcher and make oh. our own moccasins and Stuff like I don't think we should have to look for somebody to make a regalia. I think we should be able mm -hmm. to do that. My my little sister is about she's eight. I have like six siblings, a lot of them. Um, <laughs> she's eight. She's my youngest little sister. She comes home and she gets so excited to do her Mi'kmaq words and all that. And it's like these kids, they they love it. No, they love watching the dancing and stuff. Why is that not every day? Yes. Why 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 do we only get in regalia for special events like this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just for someone to record it. Yes. Yeah. It, it makes it easy for a non-Indigenous to, to perceive it as just attention. Oh, I don't wow. want to have to go look for someone in Khan to make my regalia. Yeah, I want to go to sit up and make it by myself. Yeah. But I can't because yeah. I was never taught. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to make snowshoes and I don't know how to, I don't know how to make a dream catcher. I don't. 